hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Eman codes um, now today's video we're going to be a little bit adventurous and we're going to try and learn kubernetes in under three minutes is it possible obviously not when we can't learn the entirety of kubernetes in under three minutes but we're going to see whether we can cover some of the most important aspects of kubernetes in under three minutes so without further ado let's get on with it so for context um what is kubernetes key aspects to remember about kubernetes use case of kubernetes of code code and examples and afterwards we're going to summarize all of this in terms of what we've learned with our journey in kubernetes so far right so what is kubernetes now the simple english term is that kubernetes is an open source platform used for managing of application and it's quite similar to docker now if you imagine it this way for example um, if you had an application that was being run and being held on different servers or computers then kubernetes through the kubectl command line allows you to be able to ma efficiently manage and control all these different servers or computers that, that are hosting or running your application for you so the most important aspect of kubernetes i think you should remember is the load balancing provision what that means is that because your application normally will run on multiple servers or computers within a network if you're using kubernetes if one um several computer within our network has a lot of work kubernetes can then distribute that traffic to other computers or servers within that network this allows for more efficient running of your application so that it doesn't crash because too many people are visiting one particular server on that network now in terms of the use cases of kubernetes i think machine learning is one of the greatest um, examples that you can see you can find um, kubernetes being used on especially when you're training your models and um, you can have different servers uh, within your network um, essentially running parallel um, training models with kubernetes you can really utilize that power there i wish i could go into more details of it but that'll be something for another video right so let's reward you and get you some code examples um, so if you're using kubernetes um, essentially these are some of the commands that you can expect to run within kubernetes and of course this is the result of those um, commands that you run. So for example, kube get pods, um, that'd be something that you can state here. Now within Kubernetes, um, you can represent um, objects um, with off, off your Kubernetes clusters in a YAML script. Um, and let's just have a look at the quick example that we have here. Um, the three, the four main key components of that YAML script is that it, it must have an API version, it must have a kind and metadata, and it must you must also specify the specs. Um, but then that completes this quick, very quick tutorial of um, Kubernetes and how it's used. Um, in summary, I hope you've learned what Kubernetes is. It's kind of it just allows you to manage a number of um, clusters of um, applications running on different servers all at once in a, in a very efficient manner. Um, I'm going to be doing more videos, diving in, doing bigger projects on Kubernetes. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial, and I hope that you learned something about Kubernetes in under three minutes. Thank you.